Hi there, everyone. Your Pyral here with some more No More Heroes 3. Last episode, we made it to a new area called Perfect World, and we took on some designated matches and some part time jobs to be able to make it to the next ranked battle. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing this episode. I don't know exactly what we're going to be fighting. I don't remember the alien's name. Gold Joe, I think its name is, but let's go. Also, I just gotta say, like, when all of this pops up when you're, like, near something that you can do, like, open a door or, like, interact with Gene, it just, for me, it feels a little bit like sensory overload just with how much there is, but yeah, let's go. Okay, so where am I go? Am I just going up? I guess I am. Okay then, let's go to the next rank battle. So what's what's up? The number nine ranked assassin is Gold Joe. He is a space ore dealer. He smuggles and sells hazardous ores and minerals. The ores are made into weapons of mass destruction. So he is a threat to the peace and safety of the galaxy. Go crazy, Travis. Welcome to the Garden of Insanity. Now, is there a reason why they changed Garden of Madness to Garden of Insanity? I don't really know, but right off the bat, we can just get all this stuff done. I want to buy some sushi, even though I really don't have a lot of money to be doing that. I at least want to heal. Um, uh, let's see. There's nothing that increases like defense. Ooh. That could be nice. Just a full heal after you die? Hmm. Well, the takeout sushi is definitely stuff I want to make use of. I'll get, I'll get another one of the attack increasing ones. And I'm just gonna quickly save, just so I don't have to do that again. Okay, all saved up. And I guess we're just going straight to the boss fight. I don't think there's like anything else. There's no like level to go through or anything. I think it's just straight to the boss. This is totally different from the last spaceship. So if their technology is different, it means these guys have all come from different planets. This sounds dangerous. We gotta think of a way to strike back. Just remember that Earth also counts as a planet in space. Bloodthirsty people are generally the same everywhere. Now come on, let's go. I hope you liked it. My hyper modern artwork. I project images relevant to one another onto physical matter, making it seem as though there's a beautiful space existing right there. It's cutting edge magic. So projection mapping, right? I'm already sick of seeing that shit. With this sort of thing from like the second time you see it, your brain already understands what's going on. You can't not see it as fake. Oh, snap. Snap, crackle, and pivoty pop. You guys on Earth are really something. To think that you'd be ahead of us in this sort of artwork? Also, that's way too much time wasted on something like simple projection mapping. Don't waste budget money on shit like this. <laughs> <gasps> oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity poppity pop! Criticized? And by an Earthling? Well, judging by what I see, I'm assuming you use magnets, huh? <gasps> oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity-poppity-poopity-pow! 
So you're gonna use blue and red magnetic north-south to bust out some just slightly puzzleish attacks, right? Damn! Snap, crackle, and dot, damn! That's what I thought. Bingo. Okay, I'm just gonna put this out there. For red, throw up an N mark above your head and throw up an S for blue. That'll make it simpler. Gamers like that kind of thing. I don't know if I can do exactly as you say, but I'll try my best. Nice. Now show me a good time. So, oh, hello. You guys have to stay here. Oh, standing on the tiles changes the polarity that I'm currently being affected by. Now, the thing about uh, Travis knowing what projection mapping is, I think that's a reference to the very ending of Travis Strikes Again. Oh, hello. Already hurt me. Okay, so now I'm... I'm S. Oh, okay, so that... That pushed Goljo over to one of the barriers. Interesting. Uh, no, that's not it. Oh, no, I want the red one. Whatever. Okay, perfect. Come on, can I push you into, like, the barrier? I like the magnet gimmick. But I still don't know how they work. <laughs> no one does. Ooh, that hurt. Get up, Travis, get up. Okay, is this gonna... Oh, it's pushing me in. Mm, that hurt. Okay, I see. I see how it works. Okay, let's just push you. Where are you? Hello. Oh, really? Uh, heal. Good thing I healed. Just right there. Oh, I want this. Good. I think, like, if Goljo lands on, like, the polarity that he's currently, that'll actually push him further. I might be wrong on that. Oh, you know I'm gonna need to recharge my battery soon. Oh, I'm stunned. Okay, recharge. There we go. I'm doing actually pretty good here. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, that that lasted longer than before. Now, if I die, do I get to keep my healing items that I had beforehand? Do I keep my five pieces of sushi? I hope so. Ooh, 1.5 times attack power. I'll take it. Okay, round two. Hopefully this doesn't take as long as before. And I do have my five pieces of sushi, which is good. Ah, oh, really? I didn't even have time to change it. This is already a bad start. Okay. He's red. Okay, I need to pay attention to that, because that's what his current polarity is. And I'm just... I, I should be dodging more. Okay, he's still red. Oh, yeah, I can push him into the barrier. Good. Come on. Ah. I wanted to get to the blue one in time, but I guess not. He sets that off really, really fast. Okay, he's blue now. I don't know, I can't really tell. Oh, you know, I can do the... Okay, next time I stun him, I can go into full armor mode. Come on. Okay, that's dodged. Mm, I don't like this. Oh, that's blue. Oh, where's the blue one? 
Oh, whatever. I'm... I went through a lot of my healing items. There. Perfect. See, when I... When I'm not in close range, it gives me time to, like, adjust my polarity and make this easier. Perfect. Get to try out full armor mode. So I can do it when they're knocked down, too. Uh... There we go. That did a ton- Oh, he's almost dead! Oh, perfect! Die. Please. You dead? Perfect! Full armor mode is so good. That was... easy. I mean, I died once, but still, that was easy. Is this the shit you've been smuggling? Wow, you're a real shitty guy, huh? Um, you probably shouldn't touch that stuff. It's super dangerous. It'll melt stuff. Like, everything? That's why it makes such good money. <laughs> All right then. Bon appetit! No! Anything but that! That's dangerous! Like, seriously dangerous! Ah! I, I, I was afraid! It's the ones who don't look like bad guys who are the real bad guys. That was a brutal way to kill Gold Joe. I kind of feel bad for him. Oh well, we're now number nine. Congratulations. You have been recognized as number nine in the galactic rankings. What's that light? Is it flying? Well, here, Talbot, you guys are up. You know, I never actually knew those dudes' names till now. The series is going to either. keep going, right? So we can ahead to give them names. Council style, huh? You like it, don't you? Yeah, not bad. But whatever. This is space, right? Can we do the small talk later? Space. You're still at the number nine spot. You've got a ways to go. Okay, yeah. But before all that, I want to ask you something. Also, I need to talk to you. Do you want to ask me something? Why are you helping them? Is it because it's your job? It is for you. I mean, being your wife and all. I do what I can to help my husband out. What does that even mean? These guys are basically evil aliens. We do not know when they might swarm Earth. So we need some kind of order here. Yeah, that's true. If we're using the same type of ranking system as usual, then I've got a lot more experience. That is why the UAA is running this thing. Damn, Sylvia. Are the kids doing okay? We do not have time. I will set up the match for the next ranking battle. Make sure you kill them dead. Sylvia, I still need to talk to you. So, this... This makes me a little bit, um... Worried about these kids of theirs. Like... She didn't answer the question, so I don't know if they're actually okay or not. Huh. Hmm. Well, we're number nine.
Brush your teeth. So was Travis's pose there supposed to be like a reference to the iconic Gundam pose? Because I that's the kind of vibe I was getting. I don't know. <laughs>